Today, I'd like to talk about electrosurgical unit ESU for the therapeutic endoscopy. I'm Jun Heng Lee, a Korean endoscopist and also an endoscopy teacher. I'm running an internet site dedicated for endoscopy learning, endotoday.com. In order to make a thermal effect during endoscopic treatment, we use electric current. I don't talk much about the basic principles of electrophysiology, but remember that the power is determined by the voltage and the current. With longer time and stronger power, we can get enough energy for endoscopic treatment. There are two types of electric current, direct current and alternating current. Direct current, which is generated by batteries, is not suitable for electrosurgical procedures because in addition to the desired thermal effect, it also generates an undesirable electrolytic effect, producing acid and bases at the electrode pores. So, it can make caustic burns. We simply don't use the direct current in endoscopy. We use alternating current in the electrosurgical unit. 50 to 60 Hz alternating current, which we use in our home, is not suitable for electrosurgical procedures because these frequencies can produce an undesirable paradic effect resulting in neuromuscular stimulation it can make muscle contractions. For this reason, we always use high-frequency alternating current for endoscopy. The frequency of the alternating current must be high enough to ensure that no neuromuscular stimulation is produced. Therefore, only high-frequency alternating current with frequencies above 300 kHz is used in electrosurgery. In brief summary, we use high-frequency alternating current because it has thermal effect only without making acid or base, and without uromuscular stimulation. For the clinical use, the electric current should make a circle. The current from the electrosurgical unit past the patient and should be returned through the return electrode. If the return electrode does not contact the patient, the system simply does not work. If the contact area is too small, there is a risk of electric burn. In this patient with deep thermal burn during colonoscopic polypectomy, skin graft surgery was required. In order to understand the effect of high-frequency electric current in endoscopy, we need to know the concept of duty cycle. It is the fraction of time 
when the electric current is active. If the el electric current is continuous, the duty cycle is 100%. With intermittent current, the duty cycle can be, for example, 50%. The effect of cutting or coagulation is determined by the duty cycle and the voltage. Continuous low voltage current makes cutting effect. Intermittent high voltage current makes coagulation effect. There is the blend mode in between. This is a classic electrosurgical unit that I used 20 years ago. In general, there were three options, cutting, blend, coagulation. About 20 years ago, Irby from Germany introduced an innovative electrosurgical unit called ICC-200. The most useful cutting mode was endocut, and the most useful coagulation mode was soft coagulation. Endocut is an automatically controlled cut current mixed with baseline continuous coagulation effect. In the original endocon mode in ICC 200, very short auto cut current is repeated every 0.75 seconds. In the next model, ICC300D, we can choose from two endocot modes, endocot I and endocot Q. Level of baseline coagulation effect, cut duration, and cut interval can be controlled by the endoscopist. It is difficult to understand the underlying electrophysiology of endocot I and Q. The peak voltage is high for endocot Q, so you can get more power output. With needle type knives, you can use either endocot I or Q, but with the snares, only endocot Q can be used. You can change the cutting and coagulation separately with ICC 300D. If you increase the effect, the baseline coagulation effect can be increased. The bleeding during the procedure is minimized, but the tissue damage can be higher. If you increase the duration, you can get more cutting and less controllability. Although the baseline coagulation is the same, you can get less coagulation effect due to higher cutting speed. If you increase the interval, you can get less cutting and more controllability. Although the baseline coagulation is the same, you can get more coagulation effect due to lower cutting 
speed. In order to increase the cutting power, you can choose endocut Q mode, higher duration, and shorter interval. For higher coagulation power, you need to increase the baseline coagulation effect. The speed is also important. The speed of the knife or snare is determined by the pressure. With higher speed, you can get less coagulation effect. If you press the instrument stronger, it makes the movement of the knife fast so that the coagulation effect can decrease. There are many coagulation modes in RB300D, but I use only three of them. Spray coagulation for marking with needle time knife. Swift coagulation for submucosal dissection and soft coagulation for bleeding control with the standard coagulus per forceps. In the foot switch, the left hand side yellow pad is for cutting and the right hand side blue pad is for coagulation. You can choose two types of coagulation mode with ICC 300D and they can be changed with the black round button in the middle. This is my typical choice of electrosurgical unit settings for gastric ESD. Spray coagulation with a dual knife is used for marking outside the lesion. For the initial and circumferential cutting, endocut I, effect 3, duration 3, interval 3 is used with a dual knife. I usually don't use the IT2 knife for the circumferential cutting. In the submucosal dissection step, I use either Swift Coagulation Effect 3, 80 watts, or Endocut I, 333, depending on situations. When the approach is good and your knife is well controlled, Endocut I, 333 is my choice. With suboptimal approach, however, I use swift coagulation due to the safety concerns. Bleeding control is done with coagulus per and soft coagulation. This is the ESD setting of another doctor at my hospital. It's using stronger energy than me. Endocut Q Effect 4, Duration 4, Interval 3 is his main choice. Recently, similar modes are available in electrosurgical unit from other vendors like Olympus. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to conclude by saying that it is necessary to understand the basic mode of action of the electrosurgical unit and their modes. Selection of the cutting and the coagulation mode is dependent on the instrument and the techniques 
or habits of the endoscopist. Thank you very much.